In July 2008, Tony Adams joined Jim Sammons of East Cape Kayak Fishing at the Hotel Punta Colorada in Southern Baja to make his catch of a lifetime, a new kayak fishing record rooster fish of over 75 pounds. Unfortunately, my camera went a little crazy and the quality of the video and audio are pretty bad, but the quality of the fight and the fish are unmatched and deserve a look. We're up here at Fraley's. Been fishing for about 10 minutes and Tony hooked up and man, didn't have the camera out, but man, this fish just blew up right next to his kayak. Josh, you see that thing just blow up right next to him? And I saw the big splash initially, and then he just whined and whined all the new. I mean, that was right next to the boat, wasn't it? Yeah, like five, ten feet away. That was so cool. Taking it to the playa, Tony. Working out here at a spot called Fraley's. It's uh, about 15 miles south of Punta Colorado. Fishing for about 10 minutes. And, uh, Tony hooked up. Got a good fish. This fish is taking Tony to the beach. I swear he's getting up on the sand. <laughs> Lucky there's no surf today. This fish is literally going to put him on the sand. I mean, it is right next to the beach. Stay in the kayak. <laughs> Is Vince on out there? Is that what I heard? <laughs> the fish is literally on the sand trying to fight him. Okay, now it's pulling him away. This is awesome. Oh, look at that! Look at the beach! Yeah, you can tell him. He's gotten you far enough away from the beach now. Yeah, Vince. At one point of the fight, this fish had run completely up onto the sand, but we still had no idea exactly how big this fish was. <laughs> oh my goodness, you want to pull away from the beach or not? Okay. Oh my goodness, that's huge! Let's, let's pull him away from the beach a little bit. At this point, I grabbed Tony's bow line to get him a safe distance from shore. Let's get him away from the where we can deal with this. Because of the tremendous size of this fish, Tony was unable to lift the fish from the water by himself to get a photo. So I had to set down the camera and pull it up for him. Look this way, Tony. Come on, man. That's a great fish. Make some noise. Never drop. Never, 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 never. 
Because Tony's arms were tired, he allowed the fish to just fall back into the water. But he wasn't kicking, so I had to again set down my camera, this time handing it to Alonzo so I could help revive the fish and send it on its way healthy. When I first lifted the fish, I did so with a 60 pound rated boga grip. The fish bottomed out the scale. So upon my return from the trip, I called up boga and they told me it would take an over 75 pound fish to do that. So we're calling this fish over 75 pounds, a kayak fishing record. Congratulations, Tony. Over the 60. The scale goes to 60, it was well past that. He was over 70. Tony's was the largest, but certainly not the only big rooster fish we landed on this trip. Several others in the 50 to 60 pound class were landed by our other guests at the rooster fish capital of the world, Punta, Colorado. If you'd like to make your catch of a lifetime, visit our website, eastcapekayakfishing.com or kayakforfish.com, and we will do our best to help you make that dream come true. Until next time, enjoy your time on the water.